वेलकम एवरी वन टू माई चैनल दैट इज़ फास्ट एंड ईजी मैथ्स विच इज़ डेडिकेटेड टू गिव यू टिप्स एंड ट्रिक्स रिलेटेड टू मैथमेटिक्स सो स्टूडेंट्स टूडे आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस अ वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट टॉपिक विच इज़ कॉल्ड एज लीस्ट कॉमन डिनोमिनेटर दिस एक्चुअली नीड्स टू बी डन और यू नीड टू हैव अ प्रॉपर अंडरस्टैंडिंग ऑफ दिस पर्टिकुलर टॉपिक वेन एवर यू आर डीलिंग विद फ्रैक्शन सो नाउ लेट से इफ यू हैड टू एड टू अपॉन नाइन प्लस फाइव अपॉन ट्वेल्व so please understand you can't add the numerators directly because the fraction does not have the same denominators that is the basic rule so whenever you do addition or subtraction you can't do this unless and until unless and until the denominators are equal okay so denominators have to be equal equal when doing these kind of operations on fractions so now again so obviously you must be wondering acha now how to make this equal you have to first do uh the you have to first find the lcd so that is why this is very very important but before going ahead there are one or two cases okay case 1 case 1 is where one of the number is coming in another number table so here if here we had what 18 instead of 12 it had i had 18 so here i can say that 9 Uh, 18 is coming in nines table. So here, instead of finding the LCD, we will just try to convert this nine in terms of 18. And how would I do that? Is by basically multiplying by the two and two. Because the moment I multiply this two with nine, I am getting 18. So I am getting what? Four upon 18 plus five upon 18. So my final answer is now coming out to be what? Nine upon 18, which is coming out to be one upon two. This is the simplified form. So here the case one is what if they come in another's table. Okay. So if that is the case, then this is very very simple. You do not have to go to the trouble of finding SCD. But like I said, if my previous question, let's write this down again. And my actual question was what five upon twelve. If I'm dealing with something like this, now what is the problem over here? The problem is that none of them are coming in each other's table. So what you do is there are two ways to do this. One is you what you write down nine table, which is what nine, eighteen, twenty-seven, thirty-six. You write down twelve table, twelve, twenty-four, and thirty-six. So now if you see. 36 is coming in nine table and it is coming in 12 table as well when you multiply this with 4 you're getting 36 and when you multiply 12 with 3 you're getting 36 so i can say here i can make both of them 36 here i just have to multiply by 4 and here i'll have to multiply by 3 so now i'm getting what 8 upon 36 plus 15 upon 36 Now since the denominators are same I can directly add them so I'm getting what 23 upon 36 okay please understand after adding also if your answer is coming out to be a bigger number I mean the numerator is coming out to be bigger than denominator then you convert them into a mixed number because the, that is the practice which all the math teachers would want you to follow and otherwise if you can simplify if you can simplify this further then please go ahead and simplify like i did for this particular question okay so now let's look at one of the more uh, more than one of this example uh, but before going ahead i would like to remind all of you if you like the way i'm explaining and please go ahead and hit the like button because that gives me tremendous amount of encouragement in doing these kind of videos also don't forget at the end i'm going to put up a diy question whose answers you all can mention in the comment section So here, finding the LCD here, we found with one one method, which was what using the table form. Now let's try and do this with another one, which is what um, 11 upon 20 plus if we had 3 upon 28. Now please understand, if you are doing this method with the table form, would get bit tricky. Why? Because we would know table of 20, but table of 28 would get a bit difficult for us to do. so here in this case i would suggest that we do this normally we try to do this time fa sorry factorization of 20 and 28 together 
both of them are what uh, even number so you can directly do this by 2 or you can do this by 4 as well because see both of them are divisible by 4 as well so whenever I have any two even numbers I definitely check for 4 as well because it's very easier and we actually save one more step in this okay so time also gets saved and then we come to know that this is what 5 and 7 both of them are prime numbers so we do not have to do 5 terms we just directly write them 5 and 7 so when you do that 5 and 7 basically your entire factor has now changed to what 20 into 7 that gets you what 140 so here I will multiply this with 7 here I will multiply this with 5 so this is what 77 upon 140 plus 15 upon 140 that gets me what um, 12 1 carry 92 upon 140 so this then further can be reduced and we are going to get so now if you look closely both of them are again divisible by 4 we can directly do the division or you can do cancellation by 2 as well so we are getting what 3 oh uh, sorry 4 46 and this is coming out to be 70 again both of them are even so we can do this what 23 and 35 so my final answer is what 23 upon 35 so now see like i said that this entire thing will work for what positive as well as negative fractions so let's try and see one negative fraction as well so what if we have um, 22 upon 7 upon 27 minus 8 upon 15 ok so here again we will do this with what mm, with this particular method so 27 and 15 3 is a 9 is a 5 is a so again now I know that out of this 2 only 5 is a prime number so I am just left with what 9 and then we can directly write down 9 Okay, so we get what 3 into 5 into 9 that gets me 135. So here I will have to multiply with what 5 and here I will have to multiply with 9. See here if you get confused what to multiply just check 27. So you remove 3 into, 7, 3 into 9 which is 27. So you will multiply with 5. Here we have 15 so 3 into 5. So you remove that and you are left with just 9. So you multiply with 9. Okay, so here you are getting what? 135 minus 135. 8 into 9 is 72. And 5 into 22 gets you what? 110. Okay, so when you subtract, we are left with, uh, when you subtract, we get 8 and 38. 38 upon 135s. So if you look closely, I cannot reduce this further. Okay, so I hope you are getting the hang of doing these kind of questions. Now coming to your DIY, I want you to tell me what is uh, 3 upon 7 plus 8 upon 11. Do let me know your answers in the comment section. So that's it for today. I will see you in the next video.